I want to look at uh, the iron butterfly right now. Uh, as we talked earlier, the iron butterfly, we're looking at a Baidu, uh, one of uh, Fari's favorites four times a year. I wonder why. And uh, $137.40 is the price I'm looking at right here. Okay. And the iron butterfly that we're buying here is on the screen in the bottom. And you can see as I talked into our, our PowerPoint discussion, uh, what the iron butterfly is, is we're buying a uh, lower strike put, July 130. We're selling the July 135 straddle, meaning we're selling the call and we're selling the put. And we're buying the July 140 call. So in our example here, what we're doing is we're buying the wings. So we're buying the uh, July uh, iron butterfly, 16 days left. And let's do the math in our calculation to see what we paid. We paid 174 and we paid uh, 299 right? So we paid 473 for those two options. However, we collected 560 and $3. We sold the call for 560 and the put for $3. We collected 860. So our credit versus our debit is 860 plus against 473 we paid. So we are collecting $3.87. Okay, 10 lot. Our max gain is $33,870. Okay, what's our max loss? Well, what are we dealing with here? We're dealing with five point strikes, aren't we? 30 to 35, 35 to 40. So $5. Okay, is our max strike? So we we are collecting 387. Okay, five dollars our max. So our risk is buck 13 times 10, 1130. So we're trying to collect 387, and we're risking 1130. What does it look like on a chart? Well, this is what it looks like on a chart. You can see where's our max gain. Okay. 135, right dead smack in the middle of that straddle. Why is that our max gain? Because all this premium, 560 and $3, at a 135 expiration call close in July, means we gain all $8.60 of that premium. But we paid for this outside premium that's collapsing as well to, to zero, so that's the 473 we paid. So we're collecting $3.87 times 10 times 100 or $3,870. Now, the beauty of this is, why do you call it an iron butterfly? Because if the stock were to go up to 190, okay, or the stock were to go, uh, you know, below 120, okay, what's our risk? That difference of that spread, of what either the call spread could go to as far as a max value that we're short the call, right? We're short the call spread when you think about it. Short the 35 call, right? Long the 40, we're short the vertical. What are we doing in the put vertical? We're short the 35 put, we're long the 30. So you're short both of the verticals here. So obviously if they went to max value, you lose the difference of what you collected versus what they are. So if we collected $3.87 and it went to $5, we lose $1.13 or $11.30. So in each of these cases, what happens is you have no risk other than what you sold it at, and the difference of that to the strike on the upside, and the same is true on the downside. So you're risking $1,130 or $1.13 to make $3,870 or $3.87. Now in our example, you know, obviously what do we want the stock to do? Well, baby, we want the stock to close right at 135. So just as I talked about how we are trying to pinpoint a expiration close, you're doing the same thing here. You're trying to pinpoint where you think the stock is going to be at the expiration of the expiration that you want to implement the strategy of the iron butterfly. So it all depends on what expiration time frame you're looking at. And uh, once again, price of the stock. Now, same thing as with the butterfly. As you can see what happens, the blue line signifies uh, what that would look like today if the stock moved between 125 and 145, how does the pricing of that iron butterfly look? You can see it's pretty much a flat line. 
that's telling you that those options aren't going to really move or change that much to where it's going to affect the strategy. Okay? It's only going to have its maximum effect as you look at the lime line how as you get to expiration. 